The DFW Airport Interfaith Chaplaincy embraces the importance of providing very compassionate and caring help to all passengers, military troops, and employees 24 hours a day, 365 days a year at the DFW International Airport. And my beautiful friend, Veronica Brown, who is part of this amazing group, is going to tell us more about this city, DFW, yeah. is a city. It is a functioning city. Yes. And there are many things that go on in that city. Yes. And there's crisis, and there's divorce, mm -hmm. there's breaking up, there's marriages, there's all of this. And the chaplaincy, non-denominational, yes. tends to the compassionate needs for those people. Yes. How can you find those people to give care to? Well, it's not so much a matter of finding the people. They're sent our way. That's why as pastors, we stay prayed up and every day asking God to lead us and guide us in who we need to talk with. And then they call us on our phones and let us know when there's a crisis going on at the airport. Who calls you? Well, the people themselves, sometimes the terminal managers will call us, but we practice a ministry of presence. We walk the terminal. We are assigned to all five terminals and we walk them every day, meeting people where they are, helping them to get where they need to be. And if you see somebody and your instinct, which I think is the Holy Spirit says, yes. that person needs help. Mm -hmm. You just walk up and say? We introduce ourselves. We always let them know who we are and that we do practice a ministry of presence. And we ask them, how, we, how may we assist you? And if they say to you, but I, I don't need any spiritual help. I don't need, what do you say? Well, we meet people where they are, as I said before. So it's not so much about the spiritual part of it. We just talk to them like they're everyday people. That's right. Yes. So you're not there to save their souls. You're not there, but you're there to help them. We're there to be an instrument of peace. We're there to be the advocates by which God uses. And if salvation is the route that they take, that's what they take. But we meet them again, Susie, where they where are. They are. Yes, ma'am. I love that. I, I'm so crazy about this. You're having this wonderful luncheon mm -hmm. because the chaplaincy, in order to survive, yes. has to have money. But you all volunteer. Yes, what do, do you need the money for? We need the money to be able to provide services as far as the volunteer chaplains that come out. There are brochures that we pass out to people. A story. A young woman came to my office and she was in tears. She was going to uh, bury her mom and her dad. Oh. Mom died one week, dad died the next. And we use the little booklets that we give out to them to encourage them with hope. But that costs money. And it costs money for us to be able to do all the things that we do, advertisement, all those kinds of things. So what do you say to that young woman? What did you say to her? I said to her, God loves you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, death is a part of living. And we all will travel this route at some point. But I put my hand on her shoulder and I asked her if I could pray with her. And we prayed. Then I pulled one of the little notebooks out and I gave it to her. I covered it with her. And her soul was at so much more peace. Uh -huh. She lost her mom and her yeah, dad. And her dad. And yes. she needed somebody to... To, to grieve with her. Yes. That's just yes. beautiful. All right, so this luncheon is going to take place. It's mm -hmm. a fundraiser. It is. You're going to be recognizing uh, somebody, a volunteer, who is, mm -hmm. has done amazing work, as they all have. Yes. I'm going to be, I'm going to get yes. to speak. I'm going to kind of talk about my faith yes. and uh, maybe bring some humor. Mm -hmm. And we want people to attend because you, there's so many fabulous people that go, community oh, yes. leaders and oh, airport yes. leaders. And it's a wonderful event. It takes place. Mm -hmm. on the 12th of November. It's at the Hyatt Regency, yes. which is adjacent to Terminal C. It is right. not the Hyatt that is in Terminal D. Right. It's the one that's at Terminal C. You can uh, go there and you've got to start thinking about what you want to do as far as when you're in stress or strife, mm -hmm. you can go to the airport even there. Somebody will help you get through the crisis. So we'll be back in just a minute, but we're going to talk first about you got to start thinking about uh -oh, retirement. Well, I, 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 I better start thinking about it. I've been in it for <laughs> 10 years. If you're close to that age or not, we've got an expert next who can help you get started. So stick around. Oh. 